my sunshine Sip from my rainbows Deliciously mango I think it's a syndrome Got me so wet blue Show me the door How far can you fall from Freedom and galaxies Backed up by fantasy I'm Sandra Sandy Schneller and this is romancing me Hesketarian style. Hey, this is Sandra Sandy Schneller. Mm, what are you eating tonight? Oh, I got a treat for you tonight, baby. Um, uh -huh. We're going to be doing it less than 20 minutes, and we're not even going to the stove. Uh-uh. We're doing it up with some avocado and tuna crunch. Mm. You know, and it's going to be low carb, something for any day, but you know, you can also serve it during the holiday. Oh, you don't like this one. Mm -hmm. And we're seasoning it up with our oh, spice bean butter tonight, citrusy deal style. How? Oh, cheers to you. Tonight's meal is going to be a fantastic one. We're doing it up with avocados and mixing that and layering it with tuna crunch. I'm going to also uh, give you the recipe. So you can try it. And it's going to be low in carbs per serving. Oh, yeah. You can get better than that. I want to give a shout out to my niece, Gabriella. She tells me that she watches my, my episodes. And I want to thank her. She's only nine years old. Yes, nine. She'll be 10 coming up, though. Uh-huh. And I tell you, you never know. Oh, boom. And she's going to be on the show soon. I'll show you. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to first start mixing our tuna with the uh, ingredients so that uh, we can put that aside in the refrigerator and let it chill while we get the avocados together. So here I have two cans of premium white tuna. That's wild caught white tuna. So here I'm going to add to it two tablespoons of avocado oil mayo. Now, this mayo may look a little bit off to you because it's not all creamy. Because it's, you know, it separates, it doesn't have all the uh, chemicals in it to bind it. So this is why it separates a bit. But it's still good. So we're going to go ahead and use that. That's two tablespoons of avocado oil mayo. I'll be providing you with the recipe as well along the way. Very healthy, good fats in here, low carbs, and... Um, it, uh, it holds well too if you want to have it for like a holiday of some sort for guests. Oh my gosh, they love this. And it, it presents well for guests as well. So we're going to go ahead and add, no, that's for later. We're going to go ahead and add our large, this is actually a mid size, I'd say, jalapeno pepper. I've taken the seeds out in the veins so it's not hot. It's going to just add just a tad of a spice and a crunch. You can also substitute that for green sweet pepper. I also have a half of a onion. I'll, sh I'll show the recipe, as I said, as we go along. So I'm just going to add the ingredients. And this is celery. All of these ingredients are wild caught. I mean, yes, wild caught, of course, the tuna and the uh, vegetables. Are organic so I try to get it as healthy as possible okay we're gonna go ahead and add some seasoning here and the only seasoning we're going to really use is the spice bean butter and that's citrusy dill uh, flavor that we're using tonight and um, I'm gonna put some of it in the tuna mix and then the rest is going to be mixed in with the avocados so I'm going to go ahead and add a half of one. I've had them sitting out at room temperature. This is the citrusy dill, two and a half servings. And I'm only going to put a half of a serving in the um, tuna. 
and the rest will go in the avocado. So I'm gonna mix that up really well. We're gonna sit this aside in the refrigerator and let it chill while we prepare the avocado. We're moving forward now, so we're gonna prepare the avocado side of this dish tonight. Mm, you're gonna love it. We're gonna start with our sun-dried tomatoes and mixing that in the blender with the, uh, the spice bean butter, citrusy dill flavor. Cheers, come on over with me. I have a quarter cup of sun-dried tomatoes. I'm gonna put it in the shaker blend here. And now I'm going to add two servings of the spice bean butter, citrusy dill flavor, and also add that to the mixture. And I'm going to blend this, and then we're going to put, uh, cover it with the, cover it over the avocados. Okay, I have two large avocados, and I've cut them in half. I'm just gonna remove the seeds now. Put those aside. Okay, now that concoction that I had put together with the spice bean butter and the sun-dried tomatoes that I blended in the blender, and this is the results of that. I'm going to add the avocados to the bowl. Try not to cut it up too much. We want chunks of avocado when we mix it together. We still want the chunks. So we're gonna just dig all that out and be mindful of your shell because you're gonna use that as your plate. So dig out gently. We're gonna use the shells and restuff them. We're gonna just mix it together with the spice bean butter, citrusy dill flavor, butter seasoning with the sun-dried tomatoes. And you may wanna add just a tad bit of salt, but that's to your discretion. I'll have to check mine first before I do so. Cheers, darlings. Are you ready for the reveal of the avocado and tuna crunch? Mmm. Here we go. Oh, check it out. Avocado and tuna crunch. We have an avocado mixed with citrusy dill, spice, bean butter on the bottom, layered on top with wild caught white. Uh, uh, tuna, that is. <laughs> and topped again with some, uh, some fresh tomatoes. Mmm, it's so delicious. You gotta try it. Let's go have it. Are you ready to taste? Ah, uh, I can't wait to give it to you. We got a nice scoop of it. You see on the bottom there, you have the avocado mixture is chunk and then topped with the tuna here that's for you darling now let me have some i'm gonna get some more of that avocado i love it mm. 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 that's good <laughs> you know you can have this as an anytime dish. You can prepare it 24 hours in advance if you're gonna have it for guests. And it should be a wonderful addition to a, a meal plan as an, an hors d'oeuvre um, type of appetizer for dinner. <laughs> 
but uh, you can have it um, in many ways as well. Or you can have it for a nice, healthy, hearty lunch. Mm-hmm. Mm. Spice butter mixed with avocados. Mm. That is so delicious.